How's it going, everyone? It's Zerker, and today is the long overdue, long, longly procrastinated, longly uh, forgotten about, longly just uh, spaced on it manga tour video. Unlike last year, I'm not going to go through everything like I did. You know, I'm not going to do the vinyls. Not a lot has changed there. I'm not going to do the figurines. Not going to do like any DVDs. It's strictly going to be manga, no art books or anything like that. So just strictly the manga that I have. I do believe it is around give or take a thousand volumes that I'm currently keeping. At the end of this of the tour, I do a quick kind of snippet showing of the unhauling that I'm doing. Uh, I'm not going to go in depth about it, but I'm going to name off a couple series or whatever, but or why I'm getting rid of them maybe, but you'll see the boxes and everything and the envelopes and all that. So yeah, I would have a lot more if I kept these, but honestly, a lot of them I don't need, a lot of them I don't really want anymore. Um, but yeah, so it's just going to be strictly the manga. It's going to be really quick paced. I'm not going to go in depth about anything. May point out some series I really enjoy, things like that. A uh, couple things that may come up in the comments if we watch it all, I guess, because it's gonna be. I feel like it's gonna be a long video, but shelf risers. Uh, I either make them on my own using cardboard and toilet paper or paper towel rolls, or um, I buy the these little uh, these little plastic riser things. I guess these are expensive. You get like a pack of ten, I believe, in one, but they're like sixteen bucks and. They do give, so if there's like any significant weight, they do bend. So I do have some of these on some of the shelves, but I'm primarily using cardboard that I made myself. As far as organization goes, there really is no organization. Uh, the shelf that's gonna be over here, and I'll explain it in the video, I believe, but everything that's gonna be over here to my left or your right, however this, anyway, it's over here. Every, everything over here is gonna be pretty much fully completed, done serializing, no longer coming out in volumes i guess things like chainsaw man that are over there right now will probably get moved back over here once we start getting part two or volumes 12 and all that coming out but as it stands it's over here because it's completed some series won't be over here like gto or uh, 20th century boys and things like that but eventually they'll be making their way over here but yeah there's really no rhyme or reason to the sorting it's kind of just i put it on the shelf as long as they're about the same size and width works for me and that's just about it if you have any questions or anything like that uh drop them below uh, if you watch this video and you have any recommendations for me for series that you don't see in here that i may like let me know down below i'm always looking for new series to check out and yeah so hopefully you enjoy the video and i'll see you guys at uh, the so what i do plan to do when i do my manga tour video which will be hopefully a couple days after this one why the fuck you lying why you always lying? All right, guys, we're going to start it off with this tiny little shelf right here. And right now you can see I just have new Lone Wolf and Cub 1 through 11 complete. I actually have not read this one yet because I tried reading uh, the original Lone Wolf and Cub, which we'll get to a little bit later. But it was kind of hard for me to get into. And I don't know if it's just because of the like layout or due to the size of the volumes. But I just kind of couldn't get into it. Uh, unfortunately, you know, I bought this series at the same time that I bought uh, the original Lone Wolf Cub. So, yeah. But I'm going to give it another shot eventually down the road. And we'll see how that kind of goes. Uh, next to that, we have uh, Lady Snowblood. This is one through four complete. Pretty cool, like, little revenge story. And then next to that, we have the Satsuma Gishiden. This is one through three complete. It's kind of hard to see for me because the lighting is kind of dark over here. But yeah, it's one through three complete. Cool little old school samurai series. And then we're going to move on to the other shelves right now. All right. So now you can see up there, my box sets are up here. So I got the Dragon Ball complete box set, the Dragon Ball Z complete box set, and the Akira 35th anniversary box set. Moving down right here. We have 20th Century Boys 1 through 11 in the Perfect Editions, as well as 21st Century Boys. And right here we have Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro 1 through 13 complete. I also went ahead and got the um, BAM Limited Edition or Special Edition 1. 1 through 4 of Welcome Back Alice complete. And yes, I do do the upside down volume thing to... Uh, Keep track of where I am in certain series. You'll see that quite a bit. Moving down. In the back there, 
we got Akame ga kill 0, 1 through 10, that is complete. And then Akame ga kill 1 through 15, complete. And his latest series, Hino Hinoa ga crush 1 through 6, I believe that is up to date. And then moving down, 1 through 12 of Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin. Absolutely love these uh, covers and spines, fantastic. They barely just fit in this slim billy shelf, so uh, I'm pretty happy with that. And down, we got one through three of Helsing in the deluxe editions. One through three of Blade of the Mortal. I know there's more out, but I've been kind of hesitant on continuing with the deluxe editions for Blade of the Mortal. Kind of want to get the uh, singles more than anything. And then over here. We got these uh, limited New York City Comic Con or whatever that was of Miss K uh, Kusakabe and Waltz from Shuzu Oshimi. Uh, I actually did not go to this particular convention. Uh, I was actually able to win or purchase, get a, win a drawing or whatever through Dempa's Twitter account. And I just paid like maybe like 20 bucks for these or something like that or $40 uh, with shipping included. Next to that, we got Nijigahara Holograph by Inio Asano and Plastic Little Captain Log, which is basically kind of structured like a regular English comic, but um, in like a much bigger format and everything. So it combines all six, uh, I believe, the English comic versions into one. All right, boys, we back. I found a light, so this should help things out. <laughs> all right, moving down. We went and got here uh, the Ghost in the Shell fully completed. This is just a very recent pickup, and I was actually able also to finally get the, I guess the two, three and ones, two and ones of the Neon Genesis Evangelion. So one through five, so that's complete. And then uh, I <laughs> picked up uh, Nana Karu, volume one. I believe volume two just dropped, so I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to continue getting this one in particular, but yeah, we have it. And moving up to the top shelf again. All right, so I double stack my shelves. So what we'll do, I'll go through the front row, then we'll go into the back row. So in the front here, I got one through 16 of Baki Monogatari, the manga series. Pretty cool. I enjoy the animes a lot. So this is more of a support purchase more than anything. I'm not really reading them that much. Uh, next set we have Go With The Clouds, North by Northwest. Pretty cool, like little mystery kind of series. I've been really enjoying it. Uh, one through five is current. And I think volume six is due to come out later this year. And we're here we have, I do have volumes one through 12 of Blood on the Tracks. I got the other four in the bedroom right now. I'm currently reading the entire series right now. Uh, pretty freaking wild. <laughs> uh, it, it's, it's a wild one. It, 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 I'm like shocked, but I love Oshimi's work just because you can really read through a whole volume really quickly. And this is a series I've been working on completing. This is GoGo13. I'm missing two volumes, two or three volumes, I believe. But yeah, it's up to volume 13 and then that's it for English release. And let me go ahead and remove these and then we'll get to the back row. All right, we back and I got volumes one through 25 of GTO, our great teacher Onizuka. Freaking hilarious comedy manga series about a delinquent teacher who teaches in a delinquent kind of style high school and teaches them lessons and all that. Anime that came out many, many years ago that was shown on Showtime of all places was like my introduction to GTO. Really loved it. And yeah, so I had to pick this up. Next to that, this was like a random purchase. Um, <laughs> I got it for like 80 bucks, so I'm not really complaining. It was I, your Ioshi. It's like kind of a seinen romance slice of life kind of thing. I don't know a whole lot. I read like two volumes. I got kind of bored with it, uh, but it's complete. I'm so I'm going to keep it. And yeah, I do build most of my own risers with cardboard and paper or paper towel and toilet paper tubes. Uh, this one's hanging on for dear life looks like, so I might have to uh, make some adjustments to it. <laughs> but uh, moving down. All right, right here, we got volumes one through three of 86. I absolutely freaking love 86 great like military mech kind of style manga there is an anime which is also really really good really enjoyed it next to that we have slasher maidens one through six pretty interesting horror 
somewhat horror. I don't know if I would really want to call it horror, but pretty interesting horror-ish kind of manga where like these females have like special abilities due to the items that bind to them or bond to them. Then we have volumes one through six of the elder sister like one. Volumes one through ten, I believe this is up to date of Call of the Night. I actually prefer the manga more than the anime, but the anime was good as well. Volumes one through four of Please Put Them On Takamitsan. Volumes one through twelve of Dandadan. Dan. Volumes 1 through 6 of Miroku-chan. Freaking awesome uh, horror manga. 1 through 5 of Kaiju number 8. Really enjoying Kaiju 8 right now. Volumes 1 through 2 of Chained Soldier, which is also another manga by who did, or another manga by the creator of Akame Ga Kill. And Oshinoko Volume 1, which is a new one to my collection. And we'll go ahead and remove these and show what's in the back. Actually, no, it should be low enough. We'll just go with what we got. So way in the back there we got volumes 1 through 6 of Dogs, Bullets, and Carnage. Volumes 1 through 6 of My Dress of Darling. Uh, I'm rereading My Dress of Darling. That's why volume 1 is flipped upside down. Kind of figuring if I really want to read the manga or just continue with the anime. Uh, the next to that is going to be The Boxer, which is my first manhwa which is I'm really excited about. And then next to that we have Under Ninja, which is another manga by the creator of I Am A Hero. 1 through 17 of Grand Blue Dreaming. Absolutely hilarious diving, slice of life, college kind of manga. Lots of comedy, so if, and it's like adult oriented, so I absolutely enjoy it a lot. Great anime as well. Next day we have 1 through 11 of Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt. Took me forever to get volume 10 so I can actually <laughs> continue on with this series i've been waiting for volume 10 for like i feel like a year now but we finally got it moving down all right we got volumes 1 through 12 of marginal operation by far one of my favorite mangas so far this year this is one i took a huge dive on randomly and it paid off for me really enjoy it. it's about contracted workers for the u.s military that deploy ch uh, child soldiers to fight battles and stuff and then kind of spirals off from there really interesting really really good i highly suggest you guys check it out volumes one through three of Thumbaparius. uh volume four is delayed significantly uh i don't know how to feel about this one it is enjoyable kind of i feel like it's a gl kind of manga but it's got kaiju and everything story in the world is really interesting well worth the check volumes one through three of succubus and hitman really dark really really dark manga but i absolutely love it one through six of berserk i'm going to fully collect berserk in the singles eventually just slowly doing it one through six of lust gias this is a very hardcore etchy uh, manga one through ten of goblin slayer restarting goblin slayer just because it's been such a such a long time since i st uh, started reading it originally I uh, got into it because of the anime and wanted to get further along and then next to that one we haven't read this one just yet but that is goblin slayer side story year one one through seven and then one volume of last gender when we are nameless pretty interesting uh kind of lgbtq non-binary like different types of sexuality uh manga kind of explores all that really enjoyable i do recommend you guys check this one out if you're interested in anything like that and then back here we have one through seven of ragna crimson one through two of crazy food truck one through five of record of ragnarok one through 12 of black lagoon probably my favorite series of all time it's actually the series that got me back into watching anime and was one of the actual first series that i started buying a manga of okay and then we got one through eight of the way of the house husband incredibly funny manga about a yakuza turned into a house husband and how he goes about life as a former yakuza it's hilarious i love it one through two of uh, rooster fighter uh that should be volume one volume two should be flipped around i'm gonna have to change that i just i did read volume one basically it's like one punch man but as like a rooster pretty cool the manga diary of a male porn star volumes one through two i think volume three should be out right about now but basically just details the like adventures of a guy who ventures into the japanese porn industry but it has it's pretty uh like pg in the its approach so far <laughs> i enjoy it it's hilarious moving down old man bones creaking here we got volumes one through 17 of hinamatsuri volumes one through 14 of kansuba god's blessing on this wonderful world great comedy isekai kind of 
series. Volumes 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 of GTO 14 Days in Shonen. This is another series I am working on getting. Volume 1 of Ghost in the Shell, The Human Algorithm. I believe this is just a two volume series, so it's pretty short. And the back here, we got 1 through 11 of Dead Dead Demons D -D 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 Destruction. Absolutely love this about aliens and like xenophobia and types of military type things really worth the read to any osano piece of work so you should like it one through 12 of uh glipnir i don't believe i'm fully up to date i think i'm rereading this one not entirely sure a couple random volumes of singles for the blade of the mortal volumes one through three of Die were Gelder and by the same creator as Blade of the Mortal, so that's why I'm picking that up. Really enjoyed what I have read so far of Blade of the Mortal and the anime that came out, uh, I believe, like two years ago by now. Volumes one through eight of Children of the Whales. This is another series I'm going to finish collecting because I actually really surprisingly enjoyed the series. And then right down here, this one's pretty much entirely <laughs> seems like all seven C stuff. So volumes one through two that should be up to date. Candy and cigarettes. Volumes one through three of Kiruru Kill Me. Volumes 1 through, I guess, 10 of uh, Booty Royale, uh, which is a really weird one. Uh, volumes 1 and 2 of Dungeon People, and Volumes 1 through 3 of Reincarnated as a Sword. Picking this one up mainly because I really liked the anime, so I want to get ahead of it and see what continues on in the world. And then we'll pause here so I can move these off and we can see what's behind them. Right, we back. We got volumes one through 12 of Parallel Paradise. Volumes one through seven of Berserk of Gluttony. I am way behind on that one. Volumes one through four of J.K. Haru's A Sex Worker in Another World. Volumes one through three of The Udded and Deities Only No Peace. Volumes one through four of Arrow Ninja Scrolls. Uh, volumes one through 10 of Gigant. I believe it should be volume four or five than I'm at right now, so that's wrong with one being upside down. But yeah, if you like Gantz, you'll most likely probably enjoy Gigant. Uh, one through four of the Witches of Adamus, and one is one through two of I'm Not Meat. Moving down here, pretty much <laughs> this is all the uh, Kazu. Kyoke, if I said that name correctly, stuff. But uh, volumes one through ten of Samurai Executioner, and then right here we have volumes one through twenty-eight of Lone Wolf and Cub. Moving down here. Volumes 1 through 2 of Spriggan in the Deluxe Editions. Volumes 1 through 3 of A Bride Story. I'm very interested in A Bride Story. I haven't started it just yet, but I'm very interested. The artwork looks amazing. Then we got a bunch of Satoshi Kon stuff, which I just recently picked up. So we got Tropic of the Sea, Opus, uh, Seraphin, Dream Fossil, a random one volume of Metal Panic. And then Volumes 1 through 2 of uh, Machi Maho. I messed up and made the wrong person into a magical girl i only have these two i haven't read it just yet and then volumes one to three of girls in panza this is a four volume series but for uh, volume four is like insane so i don't know if i'm going to continue to try to collect it or not and then in the back we have volumes one through 13 of vinland saga volumes one through five of saint young man this is way behind my one and only volume of uh, junti ito which is going to be tomie and then we have solonen by inyo asano and we're going to move on to the overly stacked shelf here in a second all right this next shelf is pretty much everything that is fully completed and not serializing anymore uh so <laughs> here we go it's triple stacked so i'm not gonna bother pulling a lot of them off but way in the back there we got volumes one through six of bio mega volumes one through eight of fire punch volumes one through four of boys run the riot in the front here we got the single volume of look back volumes one through eleven of yorm again which i just picked up volumes one through eight eight of scum's wish as well as uh my drunk purchase which i totally do not i do regret of uh scum's wish decor which we never got in english uh volumes one through seven which are completely out of order now that i'm looking at them of the single versions of high school of the dead volumes one through 13 of omomori himari volumes one through three of shiori's diary and moving on over here volumes one through two of doubt volumes one through six of judge and volumes one through three of secret all those three series are made by the same mangaka the next that we got volumes one through four of number five in the second row shino can't say your name by shuzu oshimi volumes one through nine complete of inside mari volumes one through ten of happiness 
And the front, Bloody Monday, volumes one through 11 complete. Konosuba, an explosion on this wonderful world, one through five complete. Peacemaker in the Tokyo Pop versions, one through five was complete. And then moving along to the side. All right, in the back, Inuyashiki, volumes one through 10. To strip the flesh, a single like offset, multi-story kind of thing. Volumes one through six of Girls Last Tour. The men who created Gundam way back there, and then Pez as well. And then on the second row, we got Hell's Paradise, one through 13. And one through six of Raw Hero, which I'm kind of sad got canceled. I actually <laughs> enjoyed Raw Hero a lot. And then in the front, one through 11, or part one of Chainsaw Man. And then like my prized possession, pretty much, uh, one through eight of Tsundame, which is the manga that got me into collecting manga surprisingly all right back here one through ten of interviews with the monster girls one through six of summertime render uh, these are in the paperback versions and a random volume of tenken which is like a completed story kind of thing and then the second row we got one through six of pleasure and corruption beside that we got the one through eight of pluto which i really absolutely enjoyed next that we got kill a kill in the paperback versions one through three then we have downfall under the air and then in an invitation from a crab and the top or the front row right here we have one through eleven of flowers of evil uh, one through two of birdie the mighty in japanese I love Birdie the Mighty, the OVA version, so I snag these up just for like nostalgia purchases or purposes, I guess. And then we have Limits, one through six. Pretty beat up. And we'll just go down one. Oh man, bones are creaking. All right. Uh, so in the front here, we have one through seven of the Daily Lives of High School Boys. This is a really funny series. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It's really random. Like every episode is random. Uh, I just picked up the manga just because I really loved the anime that I watched. And I'm assuming this manga just pretty much follows the anime with some extra stuff. So then we got one through nine of Opossums, which was not my most favorite uh, uh, Nihei work. And then behind that, oops. One through 17 of Ajin. One through two of Planet Tests, which is made by the same creator of Vinland Saga. This is, I think, his first series. And then beside that, we have Tono Monogatari, which is kind of like, uh, uh, what's that, that grim fairy tales or whatever, kind of told, but with like, or retold in like Japanese folklore type of thing. Kind of interesting. Moving over to the side. So, um, in the back here, as you can see, oh shit, oh shit. Panic! Everything's falling apart, man! All right, in the back, as you can see, I do have Gantz, one through 37. And then we also have Batum, one through 27, because I got the light and dark endings. And then here, if we put these back. We got Before Chainsaw Man, 17 through 21, kind of like collection of short stories for uh, Fujimoto. Dragon Ball, the time I got reincarnated as Yamcha. Volumes one through three of Miss Kuz koizumi those ramen noodles and then we picked up hp lovecraft the hound and the other stories as well as hp lovecraft at the mountain of madness one through two these are like retellings of lovecraft's particular stories in manga format goblin slayer uh Brand New Day, ones one through two. I believe this is complete. Ninja Slayer Kills, one through five. I believe this is like a shortened, condensed version of the original Ninja Slayer. I could be wrong. Uh, Love and Hell, I got this randomly to get free shipping on a manga order, so I don't really know a whole lot about it. And then moving over here, uh, we have in the back more Gantz and more Batum. Those have uh, one through six of Garen Lagan, and then one through four of Anne Freaks. In the front here, we have Sensei's P.O.S. Lie 1 through 4, Devil XC 1 through 2 by Shuzu, A Girl on the Shore. I don't know why I still have this, but I do. Avant Garde Yumiko by Shuzu Shimi. And then we have The Darling of the Franks 1 through 4 or 1 through 8, whatever. But that's complete. And then if we look back here. Oh, oh God. Chaos. Chaos. Yeah, in the back there we have Gantz G one through three. That is complete. We have it back there. Oh shit, we got more. Oh, let me get these out of here. Yeah. All right. All right. 
Then we got Rose Hip Rose as well as Rose Hip Zero. These are two manga series that were made by the same mangaka as GTO. Kimmy Kiss one through five. Now let's put these back up. All right, volumes one through six of Real About High School. Volumes one through two, <laughs> out of order, of uh, Mobile Suit Gundam, Lost Wars Chronicle. One through eight, out of order of, <laughs> or in reverse order, of Welcome to the NHK. Uh, one through two of By the Sword. One through two of Genki Extend. And Tony Takazaki's Neon Genesis Evangelion. I think this is more like a, that one's like a comedy kind of thing, like a spinoff joke thing. I don't know. I got a free shipping on uh, Right Stuff, or to get free shipping. Oh shit! Chaos! Alright, and then we have Love Me For Who I Am. This is a non-binary, transgender kind of manga. Pretty wholesome. Really enjoyed it. And then I did pick up Velveteen and Mandal uh, Mandala, which is absolutely garbage. Don't even bother picking it up. Volumes 1 through 5 of Saga the Succubus. Bus Gamer. I have no clue what this one's about. I uh, don't even remember ordering it. It showed up randomly one time in a right stuff order. And then Kile Volumes 1 through 2. And then up here... <laughs> I got Abra in the hardback. We have volumes one through six of Blam in the Master Editions, as well as Knights of Sidonia and one through seven in the Master Editions. Blam, Electro Fisher's Escape and Noise in the hardcover. I wish the noise was done in these Master Editions kind of, or at least in the Abra size. And if we kind of move over here, all of this is all unhauling stuff. So I had to purchase when I was trying to collect Judge, I had to <laughs> buy a almost nearly complete set to get a missing volume. So these are extras. Zom 100, I think it's like one through six or something like that. I'm unhauling that. Uh, there's Demon Slayer, Attack on Titan, a bunch of random other series in here. Die Dark, all that. Just a bunch of series that I no longer want, have an interest in, and I'm just kind of getting them ready to be posted up for sale. All right, guys, so that wraps up my manga tour video for the year of 2023. I do believe uh, it is around 1,000 volumes in total that I am keeping. That is not counting the unhauling stuff. Uh, every volume is counted as a specific book. So like the two in ones, three in ones, deluxe editions and all that, those are counted as one volume, not whatever volumes they are contained. So it's not like if I have like the Neon Jet Evangelion ones, they're like three in ones. Those are specifically one volume. So that's kind of how I, I counted it. Uh, I'll put the official total that I have somewhere up here but yeah uh, sorry this took so long life's a little wild right now with everything going around that i'm doing around the house i gotta do a lot of <laughs> microscoping on my taxes and everything so it's just been a little chaotic it, this video was not a priority for me but i got a little free time decided to do it uh, so i will see you guys hopefully hopefully i'm not making any promises but hopefully if at the end of february for the manga hall in february till then i'll see you guys next time peace